it's all confirmed now. There's no kind of mathematical intrigue. What does it mean to you to captain this team into the Premier League? Yeah, I'm, I'm staring at Sheffield United promoted to the Premier League on the TV right now. And if you'd have said that to me when I signed back in League One, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, it's been an incredible journey. First season didn't go to plan. Since the gaffer's come in, he's been absolutely phenomenal. By far the best manager the club's had in his history. I don't think any, any fan will disagree with me. Um, every single one of the lads that the gaffer's brought in has bought into what he's tried to do. And this season it's clicked and the belief in the last few weeks, especially when I've been injured and, and as a fan, I've seen it more than I've seen all season. Anyone, anyone who saw the result against Millwall would have thought we were dead and buried. Not, not this bunch of players and staff. Um, we rallied round and the weekend we've had it over Easter. So obviously we had a bit of luck with Leeds results going the, the wrong way and us getting our results and you know I've heard the gaffer say already today we're, we're the second best team in the division right now. We've got a chance of being the, the best team in the division next week. Congratulations to Norwich, they're up. Um, if they win next week, fair play. Um, I wish Leeds good luck in the playoffs as well because they've challenged us all season, been a brilliant team to watch on TV. Um, what they've done today was the right decision and took a lot of um, sportsmanship to do it and fair play to the manager and the players for, for doing what they did. I thought it was the right decision and um, it means that we, we obviously get promoted. You got off to a great start, but has there been a point at all in the season where you thought, you know what, we've got this, we've got, we've got a real chance here. It's not that kind of boom and bust like it was last season. We're on it for the duration this year. Yeah, I think at the start of the season we was confident of having a good season, but got off to a, a, a bad start with two, two losses to start the season. And um, once we got that win at QPR, I think we got it, went on a 12-game unbeaten run and got ourselves in the mix, and we've not looked back. And... The belief's grown and grown, and honestly, the lads have been absolutely superb. Like every single day, they've pushed themselves, and they deserve every single. Like I don't think they actually realise what they've actually done. Does it? Yeah. Does it seem surreal? It almost really. What's just happened in the last 24 hours? No, I think I saw people like um, Len Badger and Tony Curry yesterday, and you know, it's 30, 40 years since they played for the club, and that will be us in 30, 40 years' time, and. Um, no, it's amazing. 12 years since the club's been back in the Premiership and a sport to players like Morgs, uh, Paddy Kenny and Nick Montgomery. It's unbelievable. I was... Does it, yeah, you mentioned some legendary names there going back an awful, an awful long time, but for, for Badger and Curry and Harris and then Bassett and, yeah, Morgs and Warlock, etc. They're going to add Sharp to that list now. So from a young kid that was playing his football somewhere in Sheffield 20-odd years ago, what does that mean to you? Yeah, don't don't still don't believe it. You know, um, I look at Bassett and Warnock as being great managers of the club, but the Gaffers he has his top his top them for me. Um, and you know, Johnny Garrett, the historian of the club, he's told me that he thinks I'm the second captain to get two promotions to Sheffield United. So unbelievable, um, just to get ones, amazing. But to get to who's to the Premier League is unbelievable. Mm. It must be tremendous. You, you mentioned the lads there, and we're having this conversation with Chris that well, both Chris is Basham and Wilder as it goes. What's it like to be part of this group? This, well, I've, I've said it a few times over the last 24 hours, but there's no prima donnas in this group. There's nobody that you go, well, don't fancy him so much. You, you're all kind of in it together. Yeah, it's a, it's a unique group. Um, been written off a few times this season, but we've just we just thought, you know, just go and play football, and if, if it happens, it happens, and we've believed it's going to happen, and it has, and it'll be no different next year. I think, I think we need to sign some players, obviously. Um, we need some premiership experience, but, you know, we're going to... Just not send the forwards. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure we'll sign the centre forward, but um, I just, like I say, I'm grateful to be part of this club, and to be captain is unbelievable, and every single one of the boys will go down in history, and can't wait to celebrate with them.